Hello everybody, Abbott's Brother here, and today we're going to be taking a very quick look at the performance of Assassin's Creed Unity on my Intel Arc A770. I am running... I am running driver 4514. Now this driver came out uh, not that long ago. I, inst I heard about it yesterday, installed it as soon as I heard about it. Um, one of the things, it's a beta driver, and one of the things that is claimed about it is up to 271% performan performance uplift at 1080p in Assassin's Creed Unity with very high settings, up to 313% performance uplift at 1440p with high settings. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's some pretty big claims to make. So today we're going to find out if those improvements are real or if this is just things that Intel sees in the lab but that real world users don't see. And I moved Assassin's Creed Unity to my M.2 hard drive just for this video. Uh, because I found that this is one of those games that really needs uh, SSD speed at least. And the SSD in my system, which is a 1TB ADATA SU-800, I actually use that. That's what I'm recording my footage onto. So uh, it's generally not a good idea to record footage to the same drive you're also trying to stream data from for, for playing a game. So no, it didn't go on the SSD. It went on the M.2. So there should be no complaints uh, about any of this, about the performance of any of this. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look at the options here. I have custom settings here. These are the same settings that I used for my 5700 XT. And I did a video about that way back. It wasn't at 3440 by 1440. Uh, I think it was just 1440p. But, uh, advanced graphics, here we go. So, ultra high, textures, ultra high, high, SSAO, I know there's, uh, some NVIDIA sponsored stuff in here, I'm not using it, obviously. FXAA, MSAA is a big problem, uh, very demanding in this game, and that's it! There just aren't a lot of, uh, options in the graphics here. So, it looks good in the menus. So, it's got that going for it, which is nice. And we are right outside the Café Théâtre. And get everything settled. There are issues in Assassin's Creed Unity with CPU bottlenecks. Um, I have a Core i7-11700 with a, with a P1 overclock on it of uh, 125 watts, so it should hold an all-core 4.4 gigahertz boost. That's a pretty quick CPU. I mean, it's not going to be as fast as a as a one of those X3D Ryzen processors, but it's pretty quick. I I shouldn't have any issues with it. And you can see we're at mid 40s here, and we just dropped. So there's nothing, you know, there's nothing being rendered here. So the frame rate looks good. I mean, we've got the Seine, that's the river. We've got the Seine, waters of the Seine, and not much going on there. But now we turn here. And you can see that we've got a lot of crowds. Let's go into the cafe. There's a lot of stuff being rendered in here. And the frame rate is still pretty bad. So I don't know what 200% uh, what or 300% improvement they were talking about from Intel. It, it is not a real benefit. Now, I will say one thing. Um, you see, we got a single a single vertical line in my frame time graph there, but otherwise, things are pretty smooth. So there was a lot of stutter in AC Unity before, and it's not stuttering now. The frame rate is still low. I mean, it's what Ubisoft would call a very cinematic 30-ish frames per second experience, right? Get that cinematic feel. Yeah, Ubisoft's full of crap, whatever. Um... It is smooth, like, so there was work done in the driver. This is not just a placebo thing. Let's take off running here. There was work done in the driver because it's not stuttering anymore. But, uh, 
two hundred, even two hundred percent improvement. I mean, in the menus, we're we're getting great frame rates. And let's see, is this the old stare at the ground? Yep, we can stare at the ground, and we can play the game like this, and we can get great frame rates. Intel Arc, the graphics card that requires you to stare at the ground, play all games while staring at the ground. And I mean, here again. We're getting um, 60s or so, but it, but there's not a lot being rendered here. You have the crowd on screen, but there's nothing here. Now the environment quality is at ultra high, so it doesn't the uh, landscape and distance stuff doesn't go any higher than that. But now you start to get a lot of people on screen. It's going to dip down, and we're in the upper 30s, low 40s now. Facing the wall, we've got nothing because there was nothing being rendered. It was distance culled. But as soon as we advance in and everything starts to appear on screen, the frame rate takes a massive dump. So, oh no, get off. So I don't know what improvement they were talking about. And this is just me running around the streets of Paris. Uh, if... I try to run one of the missions that is like, that I know there's a mission with an air balloon. That one's probably fine because you're up in the sky and uh, you're going to be loading a lot of distance textures and it's not going to matter that much. But if you're going to be in a place where there, th there aren't even any effects going on screen right now. So uh, yeah, there, there is an improvement. Gameplay is a lot smoother. The frame rate is still low and GPU usage is about between 60 and 70 percent it's it's still not acceptable try harder intel you don't get an a for effort but at least you're trying to work at it because uh oh, you want me to kill the criminals huh? i hate the combat in this game but at least i can one shot these guys And again, should not be a CPU bottleneck, even though this game does has, have issues with that. If it still is an issue with a CPU bottleneck, then that's got to be in the driver code, again. When I made my uh, 5700 XT video of this game, I was running a Ryzen 7 2700 non-X, and there was, uh, there was some definite CPU bottlenecking there, because that was not that fast of a CPU. There, there's no excuse here. Oh, here we go. Get some fire on screen. Get a big crowd. You know, the GPU is still not tapped out here, and it should be. It should be absolutely maxed in this scene, and I would be expecting to get about... I'm expecting to get about 75 frames per second here. With the, with the uh, GPU fully loaded. And it's not fully loaded. I mean... We're at... 91% usage, but it was at 1400 megahertz. It was down clocked. So that's the verdict on the new beta driver that provides 250% 200% improvement in Assassin's Creed Unity. The improvement is a myth. It doesn't exist except as improving improving the stutter. The stutter's pretty much gone. But if you're trying to play this on a 7200 RPM hard drive, forget it. You need to put it on an M.2 drive. Uh, so the stutter's gone, but uh, the actual frame rate improvement? Not there. Not there at all. Keep trying, Intel. Maybe you'll fix it before I grow tired of this charade and move on to another GPU. I don't know. But I'm rapidly... Uh, ceasing to care at this point. And if anything, this episode with Assassin's Creed Unity, hey, we, we, we provided 200% or 300% improvement. Uh, and the fact that I'm not seeing it uh, just makes me even less confident that your actual Intel is actually going to fix this problem with this GPU. Uh, I'm, I'm really... I'm over it at this point pretty much. I'm going to continue making videos so people can see just how bad these GPUs are, but uh, 
I'm al I'm already out looking for alternatives because I don't want to be waste. I don't want to be spent. I was going to say wasting my time with this because I don't think uh, the fix is actually going to happen. But I don't want to be spending my time doing this. I, uh, you know, gaming is something is, is a hobby. It's a pastime. I'd kind of moved on from making YouTube videos, but now I'm uh, I'm I'm back doing it because this. Uh, I feel like I was. Uh, bait and switched on this GPU. I feel like I was bait and switched on this GPU and I really, uh, and it made me angry. So yeah, I'm making videos, but I don't really want to be doing this. I have other things I want to be doing. But anyway, hope this video was useful to you was please give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching absolutely ridiculous